Virginia Blanco was born in Cochabamba, Bolivia, and she devoted her life to serving the poor. She was a revolutionary woman during her era. She was wealthy, but she dedicated her life to helping those in need. She lived with great humility. She never sought sympathy for herself and worked loyally. And that's why she was so revolutionary. She was a humble person, always willing to listen to others. She helped everyone and never boasted about her good deeds. Fernando knows about this personally. After his parents left the country, he and his brother grew up with Aunt Virginia. They remember her like a mother. She taught them humility and Christian values. Entonces, so the day came when we had to move back with our parents. My brother and I did not want to because we were so comfortable with her. Known in Bolivia as the so-called golden ant, her work helped more than a thousand people every day. She ran two soup kitchens and organized medical consultations for the poor. I thought that I practically knew about all of her good deeds, but she actually did more than I realized. We worked with her simply because she asked. I now realize how extraordinary this woman was, so simple and so human. Blanco died of a cardiac arrest on the night of July 23, 1990, at the age of 74. And now, miracles are being studied to see if they can be attributed to her intercession. One woman from Bolivia immediately recovered from an aneurysm under her care, and another had her cancer cured quite quickly. If one of these is officially ruled a miracle, Bolivia will finally have its first saint.